This is a drone. To be exact, this is the DJI Mini 2. And it's a lot more capable than you can ever imagine. Taking the time to learn the controls of this drone allows you to unlock the full flying potential. Once you feel comfortable with it, and you know how to fly it backwards, forwards, sideways, downwards, in strong winds, in sports mode like I'm doing here, with a bit of a reverse and tilt up at the same time, then you're golden. And this isn't hard. It just takes a bit of time. Find an open space. Get your drone out. And start flying. Start practicing. And you're going to have beautiful cinematic footage before you even know it. So today what we're doing in this winter wonderland, and it is a winter wonderland, is I want to show you how to actually fly the Mini 2. There have been so many videos about setting up the application, about flying through tight spaces, about kind of more advanced stuff. But today I want to actually show you what happens when I get to a, an area, I've got my Mini with me, and I want to start flying. So. First things first, let's take it out of the bag. I'm gonna get my mini, and you've got it in your hand, right? We're gonna take off the guard, really simple. And this is all assuming that you've set up the application at home in your spare time and warmth of a living room, and you've got it all ready. So we've taken out the mini, we're gonna unfold the back arms, and it's really simple, you just pull them forward, Unfold the rear arms, sorry, those are the front arms, the rear arms, like that. And she's more or less ready to fly. Now that you've done that, you're going to take off your gimbal protector and you just kind of pull it up from the bottom and it's off. And that is your drone more or less ready to fly. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get one of the batteries. So I have them all labeled one, two and three, just so that, you know, I know which one is which, which ones I've used. It makes life a little bit easier and faster. And we're going to put the battery in there. Right, before you do anything, get out your controller and get out your phone. I have it somewhere in here. There we go. Let's pull up the antenna, take out the cable, put your phone in there. There we go. Connect your phone. And this is one thing they always teach you when you're doing your license turn on your phone and your controller first, just in case your drone goes a little bit, you know, haywire. So if we turn on our phone, I am going to record the screen for you guys, just so you guys can see exactly what's happening and it's a little bit easier for you. And there we go. Now, press and hold the um, controller and it should turn on the application straight away. Same thing with the drone, we're gonna press it once and press it again and hold and that should turn on your drone. And once the drone, the, the drone, once the dawn is turned on, <laughs> it should automatically show up in your app. Let's wait for that. It's no doubt connecting itself. There we go, there is the app. We can see everything in this beautiful winter wonderland. It's a little bit surreal, isn't it? You've got like a little beach there and you've got like a, it's, yeah, it's funny, anyway. Now that we've got that all done and you've set up your whole app, we can go into these three little buttons on the top right hand side of the app. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into control, go all the way down. And the first thing I'm going to do with you guys is the flight tutorial. The so I'm going to press. Low point has been updated. That's pretty important. Make sure it makes that noise before you take off. Otherwise it could do it somewhere in the middle of the lake and it will think that is the home point and it will kind of land on the lake, which is a big no-no. <laughs> well, today it's not too bad because it's completely frozen as you saw. Start. A safety check before you fly. Check and ensure the gimbal protector is removed. We've done that. Check and ensure the aircraft is placed with the rear side facing you. Now that is important because if you start it like this, it's, it's possible 
because your orientation is left and right. If you press forward, and it's, it's just gonna smash in your face, which is definitely something you don't want. So another thing they teach you when you're doing a license is to stand and have the aircraft away from you, and whilst you're about to take off, slowly on your right stick, very gently, just press forward. So it kind of, just in case it's windy and you're not pressing it and the wind kind of pushes it towards you, that could be painful. So press forward on your right stick very delicately so it moves away from you. Make sure you're in a big open space like I am right now for this little um, experiment. So we've done that. Press right, remote controller, check. Ensure the remote controller antennas are installed correctly, they are. And always make sure you've got them pointed. Whew. You've got them pointed whew, um, facing the aircraft. If you point it away, it could disconnect. Are you cold? <laughs> I'm frozen. Okay, hardware status. Check the um, device hardware, such as the aircraft battery, remote GPS signal. Yep, so you can check that on the top right here. Um, flight info at the bottom, so it will show you kilometers and the distance. Let's go to the next one, shooting mode. So you can change between your video and your photo mode. And that is it, camera view. Next is safety check. Tap the text above to view the aircraft. So let's take, take off permitted. And let's have a look at all of this. Aircraft auto check result, tap anywhere outside this window to close it. That's great. Now, max altitude I normally have on max. Don't do that though, but I do it because I just like having no limitation. Max distance I always have on no limit. Auto return to home at the moment is 30 meters. And that's about right. One other thing that I do before I always take off. Learn how to take off. I'll show you in a minute. But right now, tap here to take off. So tap it. And to take off, you basically just press take off. Take off. And it should take off. Please check it on the map. Right. First thing it's going to do is it's going to ask you to ascend one meter. So with your left stick, very delicately press up. There we go. It's green. Now let's go back down. Okay. Turn left. And go to the right very Control delicately. To move okay, now we're going to move forward. I'm going to go down a bit and a little bit to this side so you guys can see it a little bit better. And we're going to go forward very delicately, Control right stick forward. Backward. Now move backwards, make sure you're Control out of the way. Move Left Control aircraft and right. Rightward. Control sticks are done. Return and landing. Right, as there is snow everywhere, I don't really want to land on the snow. Um, the aircraft will just ascend to a specific altitude and return to the home point. Ensure there are no tall buildings. Continue. So I'm going to put my hand underneath it. Okay. Congratulations on completing the tutorial. That's fantastic. So you more or less will know how to fly according to the DJI fly app right so the way i do it is we've checked everything um you've got takeoff permitted your home point is updated press the free dot on the right hand side and this is something i do every single time so i'm going to show you what i do on safety i go down to compass normal and i always calibrate it keep clear of metal objects if you're near a car or like train tracks it will not calibrate um, electrical charge, ensure distance between the aircraft and ground is 1.5 meters. I sometimes do it closer to the ground and I do silly things. And as long as it's, it's, it shows me it's done, it's fine. And I've flown for quite a few years, so trust me on that one, but do it as it says. Keep the aircraft powered on and avoid starting the motors. So let's start. Rotate the aircraft 360 degrees horizontally. So we're gonna do something like this. Now hold it straight and rotate it once again. Calibration successful. Now I get a bit dizzy sometimes when doing that, but the calibration is successful and everything seems fine. So what I will do now is I will press take off and press forward a little bit, like I said, so it doesn't get anywhere near you. Now that we have the drone in the air, if, if you want and you're a little bit stressed, go into cine mode. So on your stick, it's pretty simple. In the middle of the stick, right here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna just press left. 
And what Cinemo does is that it ensures that your drone moves very slowly. So full speed is this. And that is, that is pretty slow. That is full speed right there. Now, using it in full speed is um, okay in cine mode. And if you press it really lightly, you'll see it just very slowly flies by. And I mean, ridiculously slowly. You can practice in this mode, just going forward, backwards, going down, going towards yourself, going left. closer to the camera. You know, it's, it's just um, simple things that you can do in a wide open space. I mean, I'm pretty far away from anybody. I've got people walking past, but I know what I'm doing. If you're doing it yourself, make sure in a wide open space, try it in cine first. It's important to try it in cine. So like even turning, panning around with your left stick is very slow. I mean, I'm at full speed here and I'm flying away. That is really, really slow. I mean, for me, but that's the way you can learn to fly your drone. It's nice, it's simple. And yeah, it's, it's what I recommend doing. You go up, go down, you know, it's, um, it's definitely the best way to learn flying a drone in the C mode, so cine mode. If you're feeling a little bit more adventurous, go into normal mode on the um, actual pad. Now, when you press back in full speed, it will fly back a lot faster, as you see, a lot faster. And if we go up and forward, we're gonna fly a lot, lot faster. And it's away. If you're a little bit stressed that it's so far away, back on the right stick, on the left stick, press down towards you and it will fly right back towards you. And it's really, really simple. I will talk about stick pinching in just one second. Once you've done all that and you feel that the drone is flying how you want it, and you're kind of, you're getting used to it. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's, you've got a few things sorted out. You're, you're feeling fine about it flying towards you. So this is the drone flying towards me now. And if I press right on the stick, it's gonna go left. And if I press left on the stick, it's gonna go right. So that's what I mean about disorientation. Always, always fly towards yourself backwards so that you know that when you come towards yourself and you are pressing right, the drone goes right and you're pressing left, the drone goes left. That's, um, that's the way I always do it. I always land ass to face. <laughs> um, now, if you go into sports mode, which is what I fly in a lot, because I do like sports mode. Sports mode is fast. Um, it is fast, I'm not gonna lie to you. Let's get a little bit closer to me. We're going to sports mode. It's basically just a, just a rocket. I mean, it's fast, it's fast. It, it definitely is fast. Learning in sports mode is great. I do like learning in sports mode. I'm the kind of person who likes, um, you know, getting in the water in the deep end. So this is in sports mode. So, I mean, we can just... I mean, let, let's, let's, let's get a little closer to the camera so you can see that. So you have this kind of better perspective. There we go. This is sports mode. And I'm pressing the right stick forward. Almost looks like cine mode, doesn't it? You just, I mean, it's, it's just so, it's just such a smooth movement. It's, you know, look at that. But if you press it fast, it's gone. <laughs> so, <laughs> so just be smooth with the sticks. Now, when it comes to stick pinching, I've got to tell you guys, um, doing something like this is no doubt for me, the most irritating, most difficult thing possible. You want to see something crazy? Look at, look at this lady over here. That's what people do in Poland when it's freezing. They get in the water. Um, <laughs> anyway, stick pinching. Stick pinching for me is um, something that I hate doing. It's, it's this awkward feeling of holding the sticks like this and apparently it gets you better control. It really doesn't. It doesn't. All you stick pinchers out there. Whew, <laughs> this is such a comfortable motion. So you've got your thumbs on the sticks, you've got your finger on the roll, because the roll is important, you see? The roll is very important, or the pan, you know, tilt. And you've got the other hand on your photo and record button. Having your hands like this, it's relaxing. Doing this, I could do that for maybe, I don't know, 20 seconds, a minute, until my fingers are like, you know, I'm getting like this strange spasm in my fingers. Guys, relax. If you can learn how to fly 
with thumbs only. I mean, that is, um, it's, 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 it's great. I mean, look, we are flying with thumbs only. Here she comes. It's, um, that's sports mode, by the way. So, you know, right there, sports mode. It's, it's thumbs only. Here she comes, look, look at her. That's sports mode. You don't have to be scared about sports mode. There's nothing scary about sports mode. You know, if you really want to kick it, and you really want to go out there, then fine. I mean, sports mode is absolutely fantastic. And you can do some beautiful stuff in sports mode. Look at that, isn't that stunning? Okay, let's get back to us. So, where am I? Is that me right there? That's me. Now, the drone is going to come down a lot slower than it goes up, a lot slower. So be aware of that. And if you do go out to the sea, like maybe in my last Iceland film, um, the drone sometimes might not be able to make it back. So you've got to be wary of windy conditions. If it is windy, stick it in sports mode, press forward as fast as you can, and um, you should be fine. Apart from that, just experiment. You know, open space, fly it forward, fly it back, fly it high, fly it low, get used to it. Um, you know, it's, it's really nothing to be worried about or scared of. All right. If you're in trouble, if you're in trouble and you're catching it and it's fighting you, flip it. Just flip that thing. And the motors will turn off automatically. It is a safety um, feature. To turn your drone off, press and hold, and it is off. Fold it back, so back feet in, front feet in. Always stick on your gimbal protector because you might be chucking around. I, I got my gimbal protector somewhere. Um, always, always turn off your drone first, then turn off your controller, then turn off your phone. And that's about it, guys. It's, it's really easy. If you have any questions at all, any questions at all, Drop them in the comments below. As you know, I try to get back every single one of you. If you do like my film and you want more cool stuff about the Mini 2, let me know, give me a like, and make sure you subscribe. It's probably down there in the lake somewhere, the subscribe button. Whew, I am frozen. I think I might fly my Mini. Mini. I th my mouth is frozen. It's frozen. <sighs> I would love to get in that water one day, in the freezing cold. In Poland, it's called Morsovania. You guys have a fantastic wintry day.